Second fundamental step of the backhand is to take your racket all the way back. And you started your racket take back with the pivot and the shoulder turn. The racket started to come back even though you hadn't moved your arms just because your shoulders were turning sideways. But once you reach this spot, now you want to use both your shoulders and your arms to get the racket all the way back and your shoulders totally sideways. Once Frank pivots and he turns his shoulders, and again, that's how he started to take his racket back. His shoulder turn did the work, not his arms. But once he pivots and turns, now both his arms and his shoulder turn do the work to get the racket all the way back. And if we take a look at Frank from the front again, you can see that he actually rotates a little bit further around than sideways, so you can see his back and he's looking over his shoulder at the tennis ball. And that's fine, you want to make sure you get yourself at least sideways, but if you want to turn a little bit further around, that's perfectly okay. This is Vince Spadia in the process of pivoting and turning his shoulders. And his racket has started to come back because he's rotating his shoulders, not because he's using his arms. But as he continues to take the racket back, he keeps rotating his shoulders, and just like Frank, he's gotten his shoulders a little bit further around than sideways, so he's looking over his shoulder at the tennis ball. And again, to be clear, you have to get at least sideways, but you don't have to keep rotating once you get yourself sideways. Either way works fine. Now, it's kind of hard to see his hands from this shot, so we're going to clip to a shot of him from the side. And in this picture, you can clearly see his arms are no longer in line with the body. He's used his arms to keep taking the racket back. 